take a look at another area where we get a lot of questions from apparel decorators on how to set up their artwork with knockouts or knockout areas of their design so that shirt color can come through. Now this graphic is just a simple mountain with a snow cap on it and uh, we're going to show you uh, what the problem is with this file. It looks like it's right but if I go view it and I show it on a transparent background which is view show transparency grid or shift command D you can see there's actually white in this file. Now the customer just wants a one color black image. They don't want that white printed. So the question is how do I knock that white out from the artwork? It's a pretty simple process. We're going to show you step by step how to do it. Use your selection tool and you can select both layers which just drag across both of them or click the first layer and hold down shift and click the second layer and then you want to go to the Pathfinder window. If your Pathfinder window is not visible you need to go to Window and down to Pathfinder and select it. There'll be a check the box beside all the windows that are open. Pathfinder is already open for me. So we'll go to our Pathfinder window and the first option here under Pathfinders is Divide. If you hover over it for a second uh, the pop-up will show you what uh, each button is. So we have Divide, Trim, Merge, etc. We're just going to use Divide to knock out. So click Divide once and then click off and then use the direct selection tool, which is just below the selection tool. It's the second one in your uh, tool palette. And click the snow cap now. And all we have to do is select delete. And now the snow cap is knocked out of the artwork. It is simply a one color graphic. And the shirt color is going to represent the area of snow cap that was formerly white. Now let's take a look at how to do the same thing with text. So I'm going to take this text file. And I'm just going to write my sample text. I'll select that all and we'll make it white. Now when you're making your text uh, that you're going to knock out, you want to choose a color in your file that is uh, not used in any other part of your file. And I'll show you why that's important later. So we'll click off. And now we have our text selected. We'll position it where we want it. And now we have a live font. It's an editable font where we need to create outlines. We go to type create outlines which is shift command O and now my type is a shape now if I clicked off of that and I need to select that again I can simply select the M and go to select same fill and stroke now this is going to select all the parts of my artwork that are the same fill color and the same stroke color that's why it's important to choose a color that is not used anywhere else in your art that you want to retain now to knock this out I'm simply going to select all again, choose Pathfinders, divide, click off, and now select my white area, and I need to go to File, Select, Same, Fill and Stroke, and choose Delete. And now I have the, knocked out, the text knocked out of the black portion of the art, so now the text will show through as shirt color as well. Now if I go back and I view this, on hide my transparency grid, shift command D. I can see it on the white. It looks like it looked before, but now I have it properly knocked out. So only black ink is printing. And I'll go back and view it again on transparency. Anywhere where the transparency is showing through is going to be shirt color. That's how you knock out shapes in Adobe Illustrator.